What if you just become indispensable, whether you're at your job, in a classroom, in an organization such as a business, what if you become the person that no one can live without? It's actually quite simple. Let me tell you a quick story when I first realized this. When I was in college, there's this guy named John and we were in a business club together. He worked for a company, a big company, actually I'll just say the name, Intel. And one of the things he did was he noticed that everyone needed to learn how to use Microsoft Excel and no one knew how to use it. People needed to put stuff from one column into another column and take the first letter and put it into the next column. No one knew how to do that. So he looked up on the internet and found out that you can do a thing called concatenation. The next day he goes to work, he's like, hey, we can concatenate these two columns. And everyone was like blown away. So what he did was he actually bought a book, Excel for Dummies, flipped through it, learned a couple of things, Next thing you know, he's the go-to guy in the entire office for Microsoft Excel stuff. Fast forward a few months, Intel's not doing so hot and has to lay off the entire department he was in. This is hundreds of people. Here's the funny thing. There was two people that weren't fired. The director who got moved around and my friend John. And the reason was he's the guy that used to go to the director all the time when the director had questions with Excel help. (laughs) He was the only guy in this tech company who knew how to use Microsoft Excel really well. And so the director kept him on specifically like this 22 year old kid because he knew how to use Excel. Isn't that hilarious? He made himself indispensable. In today's world, it's very easy to just watch a couple of YouTube videos about Excel or follow a couple TikTok or Instagram or Twitter accounts about Excel tricks, and you will learn so much more than the average person. Over the years, I've seen this happen over and over with a couple of people, and the people that are indispensable spend maybe 25% more time just researching a topic. That's it. It seems the bar is so low to become the indispensable person. It's ridiculous. And if you want to become even more indispensable, I would suggest becoming a triple threat. This is what Mark Andreessen describes as someone who knows how to do three things really well. So if you know how to write a blog post, that's great. But if you know how to write a blog post and make a video out of the blog post yourself, Now you're a double threat. Now, if you know how to write a blog post, make a video out of the blog post and distribute that content on the internet through different social platforms and market it, you are a triple threat. You know three things pretty well. I would say you have a 75% proficiency at three different skills. So an easy way to become indispensable is learn a skill really well. Just take your own time to research it and become better than everyone else in your organization. It probably won't take all that long. And then the second tip would be to become a triple threat, meaning learn that skill, then another, then another. It's super easy to learn skills nowadays. The information is out there. The only thing holding you back is just your desire to do it. And the last way to do this is volunteer for everything. If there's a project that someone wants done, what if you just volunteer to do it? How much time will it really take? A lot of people will have a job and they'll say, that's not my job. I don't want to do it. They think that their superiors are going to be like, hey, you're doing the bare minimum possible. You're totally replaceable. Why don't we just make you a manager? Why don't we put you ahead of everyone else? I don't think that's how it works. And I've never really seen it work that way. This concept also works in sales. There's a lot of people that are using email. They're using text messages. They're using LinkedIn. They're using social media to make sales. But instead, I have seen a better way to make sales. And that is just doing it for someone. For example, one of my goals this year was to grow my Twitter account. Someone saw that and they took the initiative to message me. And instead of saying, hey, I can help you grow my Twitter account, which I've got several requests for that kind of person. They just rewrote some of my blog posts into Twitter threads. And they're like, here you go. You could use them. This instantly caught my attention because they just did all the work for me. Did they have to do this? No, they could have just said, do you want some help with your Twitter? Sure. And maybe we'll have a conversation, but instead they took the time to do it themselves and show me that they could do the work and they could do it. Well, this put them far ahead of anyone else. I took them way more seriously and I eventually started working with them. One of the very first mentors I had in college, he came to speak at a group, a club that I was in. And I really liked the way he thought. I literally liked what he was working on. And so I went up to him and said, I'll do anything for you. Well, whatever you want. If you want, like I could design web pages. I know SEO pretty well. I could do all that kind of stuff. Back in the day, those were kind of hot skills that were hard to find. 
So I literally met him up at an office and I said, what do you want me to work on? And I'm just, I'm just going to do it for free. Uh, I don't care. I have nothing to lose over here. So I started building his websites. I became the guy that was indispensable. He couldn't update the website without me. He didn't know how to change anything. He couldn't get ranked in the search engines without me. I became indispensable. In return, I got money and I got access to places that I could never have gone, such as very fancy parties. This was all from taking a skill that I easily learned over the internet and applying it to someone's business that didn't know how to do that. I made myself indispensable. And I hope you take something from this story and make yourself indispensable too. Hey, it's Neville. And if you really like that, I would suggest you do a couple of different things. Sign up for our email newsletter, first of all, copywritingcourse.com slash newsletter. You're gonna get our Friday newsletter that's super popular. In addition, you get basically a masterclass on copy. All the psychology hacks and tactics and examples that you could want. It has a super, super crazy high open rate and you're gonna like it too. The other thing you could do is follow me on social media. I'm most active on Twitter, at NevMed. So go follow me there and say hi. Then the number one best thing you can do is join our copywriting course. So I have a company called copywritingcourse.com. And as you can imagine, it's a course on writing copy, but it's so much more than that. Inside, we have this giant members area and there's tons of people learning to write copy and getting better, doing assignments and practicing and growing their businesses together. A lot of people in there are trying to grow their audiences. So they're taking their social medias, LinkedIn profiles, tweets, all that kind of stuff, and learning how to make them better so they get more reach, more amplitude, and ultimately more sales for their business and their offering. Inside the course, if you literally want us to look at a blog post and say, hey, how can I make this better? Post it in there and guess what? Myself and other writers go in and punch up your writing. Oftentimes we just rewrite the thing to make it better because it's easier than just explaining step by step. And you can see what we did to improve your writing Take that lesson and then on your next blog post, make it even better. You could apply this to home pages, sales pages, cold emails, tweets, social media, anything you use to market and amplify your voice. Go to copywritingcourse.com slash join. I think it's one of the best values on the internet for community and help and advice and learning. And you're going to love it. My name is Neville Medora. I'll talk to you later.